Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics funnels and goals for your checkout process. Um, so the reason we, we actually do that is we want to understand what is the flow of your user, of your purchaser, of your buyer uh, from the cart page or from the earlier step all the way to checkout. So uh, basically you want to use analytics to figure out if your checkout flow is actually flowing correctly or if a lot of people drop off in the middle they abandon their carts and if you do know that or if you do have the data you can figure out how you can optimize that by uh, removing fields adding fields for example for the checkout or uh, billing information maybe adding some policies maybe increasing trust uh, adding or removing some payment methods to make it easier quicker uh, more fitting for mobile for desktop etc things like that okay so how do you do that um, it, this again is for a Shopify uh, website so if you have a different platform it'll work in a different way but the same idea applies okay so right now I went to analytics clicked on admin and went to the goals section and I want to create a new goal okay this goal um, we want to actually call it place an order or you can do custom but basically it's the same thing okay um, so I'm gonna click on place an order goal and I'm gonna click on continue and I'm gonna name it let's call it checkout checkout okay um, I'm gonna select the open slot so basically a play a number for my goal in this case keep the default and I'm gonna select the destination page so the trigger for the goal right now is if someone actually landed on the thank you page which is the page they actually uh, you get paid for it and the customer will see thank you for your order your order was placed okay so in Shopify what you're gonna do is take this slash checkout slash thank underscore you okay that is the page by default <clears throat> excuse me you're going to receive uh, or the user is going to receive a confirmation now if you do use different kinds of extensions or payment methods this may differ but most Shopify plugins should have exactly this okay uh, so that's number one so the goal will trigger will get placed if you get to if the user gets to this page the second thing is we want to turn on funnels okay and we want to actually set the funnel to see where people start and drop off and move forward okay so um, let's go here and the first step we're actually going to do is actually add the cart okay so let's call it name it for ourselves cart and the page would be cart okay next step after they go to the cart they actually go to the checkout information so they start uh, putting their email putting their shipping information their billing information and then their payment information okay so uh, let's call it contact info next step would be shipping they're gonna fill up shipping info okay and this name is uh, any name you want to make it easy for you to read and understand the data later this is the actual page this is your internal name okay and the last step is actually putting payment info okay perfect now I'm gonna uh, again not make this required just in case uh, people have a different funnel maybe they log in maybe uh, many different things so um, that's it so now once I finish this I'm gonna click on verify my goal to make sure I didn't make typos or anything like that and if you notice if you do have past data from the last seven days you've had checkouts and you've not set up yes yet you'll be able to see a number now if the number if you do have past data and if the number is above zero percent you're probably good okay so once you finish you click on save that's it and now you have a new goal right here great so um, because I just set it up right here um, I don't have data to show you but I want to show you from a different project how the actual funnel will look so you can start to understand okay so here's a, a actual funnel right here so you can see that here's a, a cart page and then to check out page so you can see that 7,000 people uh, actually visit or 7,000 visits to the cart page and then only 22 percent proceeded to the checkout page and then out of the checkout page only 46 percent of the checkout number of the 1700 proceeded to actually check out successfully so now you can kind of see that for example the um, drop-off from cart visits to checkout is very very high so what we want to do is now start to figure out with other points in analytics how to actually improve that okay where did the people from the cart uh, proceed to to the checkout page and where do they actually exit to so that they exit the website 
they proceeded to cart, they went back to the home page, etc. So now you're going to have to start figuring out the rest of the information. Um, so I hope this video makes sense and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, thank you.